Hi, uh, I'm Ashley Casper. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. And I read the article, Racial Formations, by Michael Omi and Howard Winnant. So this article sort of breaks down the idea of race as a concept and looks into why race is even a thing. Um, the authors look into how it started with uh, European Christians during colonization. And then they look into scientists trying to justify the idea of race. And then they look at uh, the idea of race being a social construct and how that's like an okay view, but it could be better. And finally, they talk about their idea of race being a social historical concept. So when it comes to how race started, it's, race wasn't really a concept. It was more of a class system up until colonization, right? It, colonization introduced Europeans to people who looked and sounded and acted different than themselves, diff people of different cultures, of different backgrounds, and they just happen to have different skin colors as well. Um, so, as we all know, the, the colonizers did horrible, horrible things. They did genocide, they did slavery, they, you know, you know how bad the colonized the colonization of the world was. Um, that's not what this is about. It essentially, the authors talk about how the, the Christians who were colonizing had to come up with a reason that it was okay to do so because good Christian men shouldn't be treating other people like they weren't people. So essentially, they came up with the idea of race where, oh, well, these people are different than us. They look different than us. Are they even people? And so this sort of idea that, oh, well, we're clearly superior. We're more advanced. We're more one with God, are these people even redeemable? This whole idea of superiority is where, suppress, where white supremacy stems from and where race as a concept sort of developed initially. Now, biologists after this have tried to sort of justify this idea of race and the authors straight up weren't having it. They essentially say that all of the studies done by biologists trying to prove that there are differences between races are just a load of bogus. I mean, so many things that are considered like specific to one race or another are all just stereotypes as we know, and none of them are biological. None of these differences are straight up biology, except for like skin tones and superficial things like that, which even then they bring up how the idea of what is black and what is white is different based on where you are in the world. Um, they bring up the example of how in Brazil, it's the idea of black and white is very, very jumbled compared to the United States, very you either or, this idea of you're white or you're a person of color, right? So in Brazil, it's more of a traditional melting pot as we like to claim that we are. Um, but essentially, they get into the idea of white passing people, um, where 
somebody who is mixed, where they have black descent and white descent, um, or ancestor, sorry, um, where a lot of times in the past and now even, uh, these mixed people will try to pass as white so that they can gain this, or er, shed the disadvantages given to them by being a person of color. Whereas they said that a lot of these people trying to pass as white in the United States probably wouldn't even pass as black in Brazil, which I thought was interesting. So that just shows that race is defined differently based on where you are in the world. So to have biological set definitions for what one race is and one race isn't clearly isn't enough. Then they get into the idea of race being a social construct, which before reading this article is sort of where I had my understanding set. Essentially, because I know a little bit more about gender than I do about race, I'm going to compare this to being, uh, compare this to gender as that's a social construct. Um, so essentially, it being a social construct means that it is only defined by the social situation you're in. So race, as we learned earlier, it was it was created by Europeans who were colonizing and wanted justification to do so. And so because of that history of it, believing that race is a social construct sort of makes sense. It's like, uh, well, race isn't really a thing, so if we can just abolish race as a conflict, we'll be fine. That's sort of the idea. But the authors say that that's not enough, which, of course it's not. What was I thinking? What were we thinking, people who thought that race as a social construct was enough of an understanding? So they say that race is a social historical concept, which essentially is, yes, it's a social construct in that it was created socially and doesn't have like a scientific definition. It's all just because of the culture that we're in. But we can't erase the history we can't erase the history. You can't erase the years of oppression, the centuries of oppression that people who aren't white have experienced. And so by defining race to be a social historical concept, it allows you to understand that race is not an innate idea, but that it's a real thing that we have to tackle we have to look at racism and not go, oh, well, if we can just say that race isn't a thing, then why would there be racism? It's so much more than that. By understanding it as a social historical concept, we can understand that race isn't really a set thing, but we can still try and help people who aren't white, who don't have the same opportunities and try and level out the system. And that's sort of the understanding that I got from this article. Um, I guess when it comes to discussion, something that I would challenge you to think about is one of the little things in the article that they talked about is how um, something that a lot of people, a lot of white supremacists talk about when they're justifying racism is that, well, Irish people were treated just as badly. Well, Irish people weren't considered white then. So something I would challenge you to do is to look at your idea of what is black, what is white, what is Asian, what are these ideas of race, and Try and figure out why you have those ideas of what this race is, what this race isn't. And something else I would challenge you to think about is 
if if you understood race as a social construct the way that I did, or if you understood it as, oh, well, we have different skin colors, so obviously there must be something biological, I would encourage you to think about how culturally it's different based on where you are and how race defined as black and white isn't enough, I guess. Those are things that I think you can think about. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.